Need some last minute fantasy football advice? Then the boys at the Fade Route have you covered. Tune in every NFL Sunday to Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ. DNI give you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts or green light and fantasy sits or red light. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 every NFL Sunday during the season. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get the fade route. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ every NFL Sunday during the season. Let's run the option and give you our picks for the week. It is the option for week 17 in the NFL. And if you want to play along with us, you still can. There's still time. Go to our link in bio on our Instagram page at Fade Route Podcast. Click on the link. Go to our CBS Sports pick I'm also entitled the option and play along with us it's a two horse race and it's a very tight race the lovely Rita Sanchez is in first place D is in second it is a five point difference and I'm just playing out the string I'm just happy to beat it but let's see what happens this week because we are coming very close to closing time Thursday night Amazon Prime the 6 and 9 J-E-T-S Jets 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 go into Cleveland to take on the 10 and 5 Cleveland Browns the Browns what can Brown do for you that's what's going to happen I agree over under three touchdowns for old man Joe oh Hmm. I'm gonna say under, under, under. It'll be. Oh, I think, I think it's gonna be the defense of Cleveland that really wins out. I yeah, I think so. Miles Garrett is going to get to know Trevor Simeon very well. <laughs> very, I believe very well. Was, wasn't Miles Garrett the one that actually broke his ankle last time? Broke Trevor Simeon's ankle. He might have been. I'm pretty sure, was he? So. Pretty sure, it was him. Oh hmm. man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah. What more can you say about Miles Garrett other than Jesus Christ? Saturday night, your main event. The NFC North champion. Let that sink in. The NFC North champion. 11-4 Detroit Lions go into Jerry World to take on the 10-5 Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys, are, I believe, are undefeated at home. So I'm taking the Cowboys. And down they go. I'm taking the Lions. I'm taking the Lions in this one. I think they've got the juice to make it happen. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. What are you doing, New Year's Eve? 1 p.m. The 11-4 Miami Dolphins go into Baltimore to take on the 12-3 Baltimore Ravens. Oh, I think it's going to be the Ravens. This is going to be a hard-hitting physical football game. Both teams play hard, my man. To quote Rashid Rashid Wallace, both teams play hard, my man. The Ravens hit harder, though. I'm going to take the Ravens as well. The 4-11 Patriots go into Orchard Park to take on the 9-6 Buffalo Bills. Bills. Bills pretty easily. Bills pretty easily. Over under. One quarter being played by Mac Jones. Under. Even in this disaster, they're going to stick with Zappy all the way through. Definitely. Oof. Oof. The 7 and 8 Atlanta Falcons go into Soldier Field to take on the 6 and 9 Chicago Bears. Bears. Same. Falcons are floundering. Arthur Smith is probably on his way out the door. <clears throat> Bears. Bears are finding out about themselves. Arthur and I actually share a birthday. Oh. Despite him looking like a used car salesman. 
He looks like a guy that lives in a van down by the river. <laughs> well, la de freaking god. <laughs> Either that or a trailer park. Like that, my man looks like he's struggling. Man, can you believe it? He's like, like his dad is like loaded, and this is like his first real job. Yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> the five and ten Tennessee Titans go into Houston to take on the eight and seven Houston Texans. This was a tough one for me. Um, but I'm actually going to go with the Texans. Yeah, I think so too. I think the Titans are cooked. And I don't know if Vrabel survives this. I'm not so sure that he does at the end of the year, especially if they lose out. We'll see because King Henry looks washed. Will Levis, I don't think, is going to play. He was hurt the other day. We'll see. It just hasn't been a good ride in Tennessee. The 7-8 and eight Las Vegas Raiders come to Indianapolis to take on the 8-7 and seven Indianapolis Colts. The Colts are so up and down, but I'm going to take the Colts. I'm going to take them as well, only because if they win, they'll most likely be tied for the division lead. And would you have thought that when Anthony Richardson went down at the beginning of the year? Probably no. 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 So I'm going to roll with Minshew Magic and the Colts. But all due credit to the Raiders. They're playing hard. They're playing tough. Stranger things have happened. They knocked off the Chiefs on Monday, for Christ's sake. So I can't put it past anybody now. The 2-13 and 13 Panthers go into Jacksonville to take on the 8-7 and seven Jacksonville Jaguars. Jags. Yeah, it's a, it, I can't take the Panthers. I'm sorry. As much as I think the ship is sinking in Jacksonville, it's still the Panthers. So I got to I got to stick with the Jags on this one, even with CJ Beathard under center. So even if Trevor Lawrence doesn't play with that sprained AC joint, run the rock with Travis Etienne. You'll be fine. The 8 and 7 Rams come to MetLife Stadium to take on the 5 and 10 New York Football Giants with Terod Taylor under center. Rams, Rams look good. Surprised at how well he got them to play. The Rams are going to punch their ticket to the playoffs this weekend at the expense of my Giants. Taylor will play well, but ultimately it won't be enough. And he played well in relief of Tommy DeVito last week couple of questionable calls not going your way that pick in the end zone to, to for the kill shot they, they were in position they were in position to tie that game and Terod Taylor is the guy that put them there but don't sleep on the Rams Rams take this one the 3 and 12 Arizona Cardinals go into Philly to take on the 11 and 4 Philadelphia Eagles I'm taking the the Eagles. Yeah, yeah. Just a bigger, it's just a bigger bird. It's just a bigger bird. It's a meaner bird. It's a meaner bird. You know, it's a bitter. No one's afraid of the cardinal. You know. Uh, No, no. They're 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 cute birds. Like my mom's got some in her backyard. Yeah, they're very colorful. They're very they're they're pretty birds. They're pretty. Eagles are friggin' rip you pieces. Yeah, tear you out. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Eagles. I predict Marcus Mariota will see some playing time, not because of a Hurts injury, but because they'll be so far ahead that they're not going to want to risk injury with Jalen Hurts. The 7-8 and eight New Orleans Saints go into Tampa Baker to take on the 8-7 and seven Buccaneers <laughs> who are on the cusp of winning that division. Bucks. Give me the Bucks. Give me the Bucks. Tampa Baker, Mayfield plants his flag and cements himself as the starter moving forward into next year. He's going to make himself a very, very rich man. I think he gets a million dollar bonus if he wins the South. So there you go. Spend it wisely. Send some our way. Send some our way, Baker. The 11 and 4 San Francisco 49ers go into Landover, Maryland to take on the 4 and 11 Washington Commanders with Jacoby Brissett under center. 
49ers. Get right game. Get right game for the Niners, I agree. Brissett will play well. Brissett's a pro. He will definitely have them in better position than Sam Howell did. Sam Howell seemed to kind of wilt in recent weeks. A lot of picks, a lot of turnovers. Niners will still beat him down. Can you take the championship from DNZ? This year, you can play our football pick em on CBS Sports and compete against us in the option every week. Check the link in our Instagram bio, Fade Brown Podcast, for all the details and to sign up. Then tune into the Fade Route every week until the Super Bowl for updates and standing. Bring it on. We're in the four o'clock hour. The eight and seven Pittsburgh Steelers go into Lumen Field to take on the eight and seven Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks. Go Hawks. Hawks are going to make their move and most likely end up in that final playoff spot in the NFC. And it starts by knocking off the Steelers. The 5 and 10 Los Angeles Chargers go into the mile high to take on the 7 and 8 Denver Broncos. Broncos, it's Stidham. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be because the Chargers stink. Right, Mr. Stick, right, he's been better, but he's still by no means great. A lot of bad quarterback play. That's what I predict in this game. Big day for Javante Williams. The 8-7 and seven Cincinnati Bengals go into Burrowhead to take on the 9-6 and six Kansas City Chiefs. Bengals. Oh, Burrowhead, my ass. Browning head, my ass. They need this game. The Chiefs desperately need this game. They need to wash the taste of Monday out of their mouth. They're starting to come off as a little whiny. They're starting to come off as a, a pretender. They feel like a fraud. The Chiefs are starting to feel like a fraud. Mm. So they desperately need this game. I got Desperately. Yeah, I mean, they just seem flat. There seems to be a weird vibe going on there. Mm-hmm. And the body language is just awful. Agreed. Travis Kelsey's chucking his helmet. Mahomes is friggin' having... Stuff there. They're, Owen, the they're, o- they're Owen 5 this year when it's under 50 degrees. They're 3-5 and five in their last eight. They've scored under 20 points in seven games this season. In the in before prior to the season, from 2018 to 2022, they only did that six six times. So the, in four years, they scored under 20 points only six games, but they've done it seven times this year. Hmm. The question is, is 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 it a bigger loss? Is it Nagy? Is it is it is it Eric Bieniemy lo- leaving, or is it Tyree Kill? Which is the bigger loss? Well. They're two seasons removed from Tyree Hill. This is the second season. And they won so, the Super Bowl last year, right? They did. They won the Super Bowl, and their number one receiver I would was Juju. So I'm not, I'm not saying that Juju was the big loss. Juju's never the big loss. But having a capable wide receiver who will catch the ball means a lot. Definitely does. But I think this is the Eric Bieniemy effect. Like, we're starting to see what Eric Bieniemy was doing, and you know, we got some love from Amy Trask on X after we we uh, retweeted her saying that you know, we've been saying that for a while. This is the Eric Bieniemy effect. So, Amy, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Happy holidays. But it's starting to become apparent he was calming people down. That's what his role was. As much, it may not necessarily have been the play calling, right? Because at the end of the day, we always said that Andy Reid was calling the plays, and maybe that's the case. But he was the guy who was the, the Jimmy and the Joe part of it. You know, you have the X's and the O's, and then you have the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Eric Bieniemy was the Jimmy and the Joe guy. He was the one managing the personalities. He was the one keeping their keels even. And I think that that's becoming evident, because Matt Nagy, he ain't doing it. 
Matt Nagy leaves a lot to be desired many times over. I'm sure there are tons of Chicago Bear fans out there who agree with us, as far as that's concerned. But I guys say that the enemy more so than Hill, because you can always find a wide receiver. Tyreek Hill, like, he's in a good spot. He doesn't need to trash the, the Chiefs. But I, I think having that steadying force in Eric the enemy made it better for them last year. And your Sunday night special. The 7 and 8 Green Bay Packers go into Minnesota to take on the 7 and 8 Minnesota Vikings without TJ Hawkins. <laughs> Out Green, for the year. Green Bay. I'm taking the Packers as well. Two ships passing in the night. I can see the Packers making the playoffs, and I can see the Vikings dropping out. No teams on a bye, and no Monday Night Football because of the college bowl games. So adjust your viewing plans accordingly. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.